<laughs> if you like insult me till thy kingdom come i don't care <laughs> one smile from you can fix my day i wanna say a lot but nine with you i ignored the warning signs i wanna say a lot but nine guys this love text messages they come from husband and wife Chochi Olankule and Rosie Mora as they come down debunk some kind rumors again concerning their marriage and according to Rosie Mora if you like insult me from now till thy kingdom come like she doesn't care guys una know this actress Messi Aigbe when he married Kazim Adioti, the owner of Ibaka TV, and when bloggers and people they talk say she snatched the man away from his first wife, Foshu. Now the same matter, people can't begin drag Rosimora again. Tell her say she and Messi Aigbe na the same rope na tie both of them. Wish Rosie don't stick on react put today. Let us know, say, no matter what thing Una go talk or do, like she has made the best decision of her life. Spending eternity with her husband, Chochin Olakule, was never a regret. Like, she's so blessed to call him her husband. Guys, according to the matter, Una know a few years ago when they dragged out Rosie, say now she break the marriage between Churchill Olankunle and our controversial Nollywood actress, King Tonto DK, which she still come out, can't tell us waiting re happen. And guys, make Una watch to the end of the video because I go drop the video where Rosie Mora talk everything but before then chochi don't come let us know some kind things few days ago according to chochi olankule in a world where there are many voices and a cacophony of options who do you listen to growing up i learned early that no one knows everything it became clear to me that most people just go with the flow with what everyone else around them is doing because they think people around them know the answers to life puzzles. The reality though is nobody really has all the answers. That's why life itself is like a car carousel with most people just moving around in circles, lost in the middle of nowhere, trying to catch the reins, but never really understanding the why of things forever caught up in the crowd mentality. To stand out, to be that better version of you, you must learn to find personal meanings to everything, to life itself. Opinions change. You can't afford to settle on someone's ass. To be able to do this, you must learn to occasionally embrace the lonely road. That's where life-changing epiphanies happen. That's where regrowth begins. According to Churchill Olankule, in Let Us Know, say, in a world where there are many voices and opinions, like who do you listen to? Listen to your heart. You don't need to come to let people know the answers to waiting that they even try in Sunwait. And guys, according to how Rosimora and Chochi Olakunle they go, they let us know, say, they both make the best choice by marrying each other. They don't go ever regret or can they debunk any rumor again, anything when people talk about their marriage, for their hearts make it be like that, like they are living their best life. And God has also blessed them with a son, King Churchill Olakunle Jr. Guys, according to Rosie, in Let Us Know Say, she was never the cause of Tonto DK and Churchill's breakup. She was only working under the Churchill group. And she has only met Tonto DK once, unlike this Messi Aigbe and this her ex-husband Wahala when they happen for social media. She let us know if we not get any picture when she and Tonto DK don't take day together or even snap together, whether old or new, made they bring them. Like she was never a friend to Tonto DK. She referred Chochi Olankule as a brother then because of the kind way Chochi they treat her and her family. She was only working under the Chochi group and she was never a personal assistant 
to Chochi Olakunle. Guys, make una hear from Rosimora and make una drop on a comment. If una feel say all these commenters, people when see they drag Rosie and Chochi up to this time after two years in marriage, if he good at all, like bringing a ma issue to this messy Igbe recent marriage to Kazim Adioti, if he day nice. This Naval Lebas TV to all my returnees, God bless you. Also, follow me on my page, Val Lebas Gist, and help me share the video hey guys i hope you guys are doing great and i hope you're having an absolutely beautiful day um i just wanted to address something real quick i mean on a normal day i wouldn't come out to say anything but there are one or two very important facts that i need to share with you guys firstly i was never ever a personal assistant to mr churchill i mean he did have a personal assistant but her name was never rosalie mira secondly I, Rosalind Mura, have never, ever been friends with any of Mr. Churchill's exes, not to talk of being best friends with any of them. I have never met any of his exes except one, which was, I mean, merely an acquaintance. Mr. Churchill introduced my siblings and I to her as his family, and aside that day, we have no personal relationship, no connection. That was the only day that we were in the same space together. Mr. Churchill's failed marriage has nothing, absolutely nothing to do with me. The same way you guys read and heard online that I was the reason for his broken marriage was the same way I read and heard online that I was the reason for his broken marriage. Before then, I mean, I never knew that the relationship I had with him before he got married was a problem after he got married. I didn't get the memo. <laughs> no one confronted me. I was never aware of any of such. Whatever it is that happened in his marriage, I had no knowledge of at all. The same way you guys read online what happened was how I read online what happened. I mean, I knew him. Why would I wait for him to get married and then start playing hide and seek? It doesn't make sense. After his marriage crisis and after he got divorced, I mean, I was still there. I never left. I mean, why would accusations and um, people talking make me leave? leave to where i never left i never abandoned him obviously he was a different person not much fun <laughs> not the normal fun bubbly mr churchill that we used to play with and we used to know um you would see that he was just off devastated broken i don't know frustrated um his mind was never there Obviously, you could tell that he had stuff on his mind, but I mean, it was what it was. Gradually, days passed, months passed, years passed, life took its course, destiny happened. So, um, so moving on, I did say that Mr. Churchill was like a brother to me, but he's not my blood. My mother didn't give birth to him. Mr. Churchill and I, we don't share the same father. That statement, he is like a brother to me, simply meant he is family. Mr. Churchill has always been there for my family and I, and he has always been that way. I mean, was I ever attracted to him or have I ever looked at him in any other way? No. Was he ever attracted to me? Who knows? But I mean, that's not something I have control over. <laughs> I was in a relationship. I was happy. A relationship that went sour due to the banter online when um, some accusations were made. I mean, did I kill myself? No. <laughs> I moved on. Life goes on. What I was accused of became my reality and my fate. I mean, what would be would be. You cannot change it. You cannot force it. I am not God. I mean, it just happened. I let God's will take place in my life. I never forced myself on him. I mean, it just happened that he became more than a brother. He became a lifetime partner. And um, I just really needed you guys to hear this. Every malam with his keto, one man's curse is another man's blessing. Life happens. I know you guys have opinions which you're um, definitely entitled to. But I just want you guys to know that your opinions, they don't change me. They don't take anything away from me. They don't change God's will in my life. They don't take away my glory. I'm always going to be me. So you guys just remain positive. Your own blessings and happiness will definitely locate you guys. I love you guys regardless. Stay blessed and have a beautiful day.
After Mr. Churchill got married, things were still the same. He was still there for my family and I. He would take my siblings and I out. I would invite friends, male, female. He never had a problem with it. We would have so much fun. And I mean, when it was time to work, we would work. I'm not a lazy youth. I have goals. I have aims. I have an ambition. I have things that I want to achieve in life. Mr. Churchill made that possible for me. He exposed me to a lot of opportunities and I am forever grateful. So when it came to work, it was always work. You would see us places and that's because throughout me going around with him, his foundation and other stuff, I was learning the process. It had nothing to do with intimacy. It had nothing to do with me following him because I liked him. Mm -mm. I did like him, but like I said, like a brother, family.